Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels for ESA Web TV, and we are at the conclusion of the European Space Agency's Council at Ministerial level called Space 19 Plus. I'm joined by Jan Werner, who's ESA's Director General. Jan, how do you feel right now? I'm happy, very happy, because uh, what I believe is really the success of this ministerial is that all the member states are joining their forces, meaning also their money, to do really a European space program. Okay, and how much money are we talking? Altogether, it's about 14.4 billion euro. This is really a huge amount. If you count it money-wise per year, then it means 4.2 billion euros per year. Now, at the beginning of the year, you and I talked about Space 19 Plus, and you talked about the four pillars. Now, can we look at each one of these pillars and see what, what's coming up now with uh, with this new budget? So what we tried, or we started already two years ago, to make all what we are doing in ESA to put it into a narrative. And this because it's important to talk to people, to citizens, uh, also to the, minister, to the ministers, that they understand what we are doing. And therefore, we put in one pillar, science and exploration. Science looking to stars, looking to black holes, all of this. And we got an increase of about 10%, which is already something very big. And then we have exploration. Exploration where we send astronauts to lower orbit, but also to the moon. And, and also robotic missions to the moon and to Mars. And again, we got an, a very big uh, increase, about 30%. Now, the second pillar is a new pillar which is called space safety and security. We are looking for hazards in space and hazards on the surface of Earth. And this was a new pillar, is a new pillar, but I'm very happy that also this pillar got the support of the member states. So now we can do uh, different projects uh, concerning the space weather, solar flare, about space debris removal, and also about asteroid uh, deflection. The third pitch, pillar is uh, applications covering Earth observation, navigation, and telecommunication. And in Earth observation, it covers uh, what we call future EU, which are the satellites, uh, ESA satellites, and also the Copernicus program. And again, we got a strong increase, especially in the Copernicus program, and therefore it's really great. In navigation, we are starting from a very low level last time. We got a strong increase compared to the last ministerial, and therefore navigation means we are looking for future navigation systems. And then we have telecommunication. Again, in telecommunication, about 30% increase compared to the last uh, ministerial, which where we are looking to new technologies, quantum key distribution, uh, and also laser uh, information, uh, laser um, transceiving and transmitting and laser receiving. And, and then we are going to the last pillar, which is enabling and support. It sounds a little bit strange, but enabling and so support means technology developments, uh, new technologies where we are really innovative, but also um, space transportation. And in space transportation, we are not only looking to launchers, but also to a reusable shuttle, a small reusable shuttle for microgravity research. And we got the full commitment also for this program. That's amazing. Congratulations on that. But it's quite an array of activities. What's next? Next is, first of all, that we have to make out of this money now real programs. We have to to look into the plans for the future, but there was also a clear commitment of the ministers to go for development of ESA as such. I called it the European New Space Agency, meaning we should look into what is new space really about, about cost reduction, about more efficiency, agility, innovation, artificial intelligence, uh, and also commercialization. And also there, we got the full support of the member states, and they asked me to come back within uh, half a year about uh, to, with a concrete plan how to renovate ESA for the future. Well, Jan, it sounds like we have our work cut out for us. So there is a lot of work, but it also shows that we are working together in Europe, meaning united space in Europe. That's great. Well, Jan, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And to our viewers, remember that to learn more about the European Space Agency, you can visit our website at www.esa.int.